It's that time again. Today's going to be a quick one. Happy weekend to y'all. Um, we are going to do a spray session in the next few days. I promise I'll have some brand new fresh content out for everybody. So fish heads that are interested in spraying, all these cool little custom lures, promise I'll take care of you guys soon. For the meantime, we've got a few to show you guys today. Let's start off with this. This is a dinger. 100 SP, a little weight transfer, got some BBs in it, did some custom eyes with it. If I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I literally just got in from the grocery store and have been playing with the dogs in the backyard, put away all the groceries, and came back in here. I have no idea what to call this. Definitely a walleye bait, though. Bass will probably hit it too, especially uh, the red is targeting this particular season out of the year. Um, but I did the hand painted eyes. This little knucklehead will dive to three and a half, four feet. 2.5, just a standard run of the mill bluegill, but super effective. Got a little blush orange on the chest. It's in a 2.5 square bill pattern and these are pressed from that lucky craft and I think technically if we really don't if we want to get into the weeds we can on this one but I think technically there's not a whole lot of white trim on a bluegill I think it's just a black ear flap that they have um, but if you want to add just a little this adds a little bit more detail and flash to it so we've got a uh, an olive green pumpkin with a little bit of gold mist on top Got these bars and and if you guys are brand new most of you guys know the game on this one but the stripes are done with an ordinary everyday comb it works and there's all different kinds of combs that you guys can get this is one of my favorites as well it's a little bit more tricky you have really got to set the airbrush down on top of this to have the effect that you want out of this but I think one of the next spray sessions that I'm going to end up doing with you guys is like different things that you normally wouldn't see, like the eyes and different card stencils, like this. Um, so just uh, just kind of run the gambit of things that are available to you to help enhance these custom lures that you guys are making as well. This is a winter shad. Some blue eyes. Sort of. But it's got a, a silver in there as well, but the reflective prism in there kind of makes it look blue but it's actually silver but it sure does look blue doesn't it a little bit of smoke gray on the bottom the other question I get asked all the time is um, what kind of a pen I use to sign the baits on the bottom because it's super thin does look clean it is a clean line but there's a t there's a little trick to it I use these uniball visions elite and the trick is not to go right down on top. You want to angle that over a little bit when you're writing. And for some reason, if you angle this, the ink comes out a whole lot better on dry airbrush paint. So there's your little quick tip of the day. And our shop talk section. Have you guys ever used these? These things are wicked good. Um, they're not expensive. You can get them at Schultz. You can get them a couple of places. I think I did AliExpress on this one. Um, just because it's pretty much the same but the twitch and the dead float on these is vicious and I get a lot of strikes from walleyes I get a lot of strikes from bass stuff that otherwise would not be moving this curved bait mimics a dead or dying fish and this is just done up almost in a goldfish color but I just kind of wanted to accentuate the middle to give the fish a target. And uh, the coloration on this is that smoke gray, which is an FW ink, a black, a pearl white, which is just a plain old ordinary pearl white with a little bit of base white underneath of it, but the pearl misted on top. And then I think I used the Wicked Colors burnt orange. Nope, burnt sienna. That's it. Burnt orange, I think, is actually darker than burnt sienna. Yeah, the burnt orange is dark, where you would think sienna would be deeper, but it's the sienna. 
we have this is a Strike King KVD Pro line that I've repainted and done a little bit of gold mist. You guys can really see that shine. And it's painted directly on top of a Fire Tiger pattern. So I did not even use anything to base coat this before. All I did was wrap it and paint my new colors on top of it. And that's why you have that really cool green vein underneath of it. Because that, and you can actually see a little bit of the original yellow and orange on the belly. But I've, I've coated that pretty well. But experiment. Play around with new baits. See what you guys can come up with. Some of that stuff's really going to be cool, but I love the way the green veining looks underneath of this on this Striking 2.5 Pro line. Last but not least, because I have a bunch of these, um, got a bunch of these little bluegill for a customer. Um, but this, these are going out the door today. Don't have a name for this either, other than neon, but it is a tangerine on a 2.5 fading into an iridescent violet and that's that's the color shift you can actually see it go from light to dark as you move it back and forth and that's the trick that DuPont paint does this is not DuPont paint though this is just a run-of-the-mill createx iridescent that gray smoke again a little fish scale pattern and a wicked color fluorescent yellow on the belly. That is the juice for the weekend, folks. We're going to be doing some spray sessions here. I am going to upload yesterday's session. Um, actually, not a session, but um, got out of the shop for a little bit and did some fishing and had some pretty awesome results in one of them on a pattern that I had just sprayed. So um, had a great day on the water yesterday, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys spending some time with the channel. It's always great company. We'll see you soon. Happy casting.